Hi. So here it is. Heyao tsuki de chodana ni mukata. So let's hear it say that tsuki uh, tsuki de following into the room. Good guess. So and heading towards. comes from um to stab and the cut so that yeah, cutting towards is a good way of putting it hi crossing the room hi and headed towards the bookshelf jodan no iri kuchi wa tabe ni ukari to aida the entrance of the stairway. It is like a black hole. Well, you could kind of ignore the, the wall. Body. Yes, so in the wall. Lightly. Uh, it's not really lightly, like lightly popped in the up. Wall. It's the um gapping meaning in there that's being cut off. So it kind of means like isolated, like a gapping hole, basically. So. A, it's like a large black hole opened up in the wall. So the pukari is like large kind of a gapping hole. I, I, pukari aita opened up. It's like a large black hole that opened up a gape in the wall. Right. Then ni san ni san um I don't done ni ni San Dan Orite going down. Um Orite 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 Mio Sumashtaga. Okay, what does this mean here? Um Sumashtaga. What is the first it's thing he does? He's finish. first thing he does is Oridu. He Oridus. The kaidan this ne he goes ni san goes sandan from the kaidan the oridus. What does that mean? He went down two step, three step. Perfect. The next thing is something he's doing with his mimis. Do you know what a mimi is? Mimi o is mean his ear. He do something to his ear. Hi, 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 hi. Sumase is to make something clear. And it's used like the English idiom to stress, strain your ears, to strain them. So in other words, he's listening hard. To strain one ear. You're listening hard. However, nanimo iko enai. However, he cannot hear anything. ぐらった。ぎ。ぐらやみの奥へ。ほ。一段。一段。たどっていた。たどっていた。ほん follow down. はい。To head towards. So he head towards the Mm. He go. He head towards step by step, towards the inner of the darkness. Hi, into the depths of the, the darkness. Of the shadow. Then, Kabeni at the wall, katatte on one on one of his side. Um, but well, with one hand actually, yep, one of one the hand, hand sweet that he. He um attaches 
Where does he attach the hand? He attaches. He attaches. Attaches the hand at the wall. Right. So he he uses the wall. Yep. To guide himself. So so. And he. He go down the stairway uh, quickly. Uh, so quickly is a adverb. This word right here ends with na. Na is a mark of na adjectives. Adjectives. A rule for adjectives that the only thing they can modify are nouns. So, right. so the it's a is a verb. Hi. Hi. Look at that. So what it's saying here is it, it's describing this kaidan as Hi. being samate, samai, samakute. Hi. Meaning it's um. A narrow confined stairway right. and it's a steep it had a steep incline perfect do you know why there's te form right and that here? is the stair that he goes down perfect do you know why there's te or meaning it's a conjunctive form meaning hi, hi, hi. describing two things yep first and. it's narrow and then and it's steep it's steep perfect look at that um, yoyaku odori basho ni, not basho, just ba, odori ba, right. ni, ite, so no saki o no do, no zoite, and I'm guessing no zoite is I'm having trouble with this verb all the time. Mm -hmm. No zoite, meet that meaning he pick his, his eyes into, he, he have a, having a peek up, hi, hi, hi. having a look. Yep, he pokes into. You attempt, you attempt to look. Um, no zoite ita. So what did he no zoite ita? He no zoite ita di sono saki o no. no. Sono saki, meaning that which is before him, that yes. which is ahead of him. In front of him, of him. hi. In other words, beyond the point of where he is. Um, and that is what he uh, peeked at. And before that, he yo yaku odori ba nikite. He arrived. He came to the odori ba, which is a a dance floor. He That's a good to guess. A dance floor. Odori ba. No. Theoretically, it's a place of dancing. It's the only place that is safe to dance on the stairs, which is the landing. I think it's what it's called. But it's the, if you have a bunch of stairs and there's like a pause, you know, that's like flat and then the stairs continue right. so that the stairs can kind of do like a 360 kind of thing. They're very common in like schools and stuff. Look at that. It's a pause. It's that in between two staircases. Right. Um. And is described as being yoyaku. Well, that's, uh, so that that's a means ku. that it is. Yoyaku ends with a ku, which makes it into an adverb modifying kite. Make it an adverb modifying kite. The way he arrived was yoyaku. Yoyaku. So how did he arrive? He just arrived. Hi, he yeah. finally arrived. Only just yeah. arrived. Finally arrived. Okay, so he went, the previous sentence said that he went down a very narrow and steep staircase. And then when he finally arrived at the, at the landing, he made an attempt to look or to peek into the point that is beyond where he is. Um, and then the next sentence say, oh, no, no, it's still there. No, you just um, that it, o, okini, saki, okini, saki, no, no, hidari. hidari. Okini hidari ga miete. 
hikari okuni hikari ga mie uh khan is able to see the light from within the depth yeah there's some light you can see um so no te some light mie from mieru um so so no te mai ni usu usura to saki uh sugi no uh odori odori ba ga this is the kanji for floating up hi so it's uh to float is uga ugabia garu what kind of floating up is it is it just like um a balloon floating up or is it more like um a bubble it, it emerges into his his view hi 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 the emergence the next landing emerges into his view kind of so like when he looks over there it's basically it's, he can't it's basically all dark except for the landing so he can see the landing but it's black everywhere else hmm it was ukabi from ukabu Raimani ukabi yes ukabi, ukabi is to float agaru Float up, float up. So the next landing, float up. Um, and then before that, it described as there are lights that he can see from within the depth. Depth. So no te mai ni that which is in front of him, usurato. Meaning, usurato. What does that mean? Slightly. What Finley, does sono Finley? mean? Let's pause here. What does sono mean? Sono meaning that, which is away from the speaker. So, so, so how could it be my hand if we're calling it sono temae? Doesn't really make any sense because that that'd hand. be mine. That, that, that means it can't be my hand. Can't use, ko, that'd be kono temae or watashi no temae. So the temae, the thing that's in front, it's probably the hikari ga. Oko ni hikari ga mie. I can see a light in the depth. In front of that light, sono temae. In front of that light. So temae is... referring to in front of. Hi. In front of me or in front of the light, from the perspective well, of the what light? What does sono mean? That. So it has to be in front of the light. If it was front of me, front of then this would be me. It'd be watashi no temai or kono temai, right? So things are modified with things for a reason. So the sono says it's the temai, the in reach of, in front of, whatever sono it's referring to. And sono contextually is probably referring to hikari. Hi. And then usaru. Usura means faintly. Usura. Faintly. Usura to, in a faintly way. In a faintly way, it's the next landing emerges. Right. So why do you think he can see the next landing, but everything else is dark? There, There's light there. So, there's, so, so. There's, there's some kind of light. It, that is next to the other odoriba, which is making it that right in front of the light, he can now see the odoriba showing out from the darkness. Hi. Perfect. Wakata. Shinobi. Ashi de zara ni. Shinobi is um, sneaky. Yes. Stealthy. I see that with legs, so I move stealthily on top of that. Furthermore, Sarani. Um, orite ita. From orite iku, meaning I went down. Right. 
towards that light, away from my original position. Saranili. Towards the further next on. oriba. Sarani, further than where I was. Um Sono Odoriba Made Tadori Tsugi Tsuki. Um at that landing when I um at Made at that landing uh Tadori Tsu Tadori Tadori Tsuki. That's a arrive at it's arrive at last. I so I managed to Khan managed to arrive at that landing and she can sigan de muko o nozo ki komi. Once again he nozo ki komi. He peeked into he peeked into the direction the muko. Muko is the direction. So he peeked towards the direction that is described as being jagande. Sadly, no. Shagande Jagan. ending in de is a verb. Verbs that end in de Shagan. have different possible things, but this is um shagamu. Sha Gamu. Ga -mu. He squatted. So so. So the main character squats. And peeks right, so toward he's... the muko after he tadari tukus to the toward odoriba. The Why do you think odoriba is being marked by made? Made is... marks the destinations. Kind of, but like we could use a different marker here. Does that insinuate perhaps where he might be located in the odoriba? Yes, I think he had already arrived. It does he mean he arrived. arrives. The made normally means like you hit there and then you're done. So it kind of insinuates he's taken like one step onto the odoriba rather than necessarily being like in the middle or on the center or something like that. Because made is like the limit. So right when he reaches, right when he steps foot onto the odoriba, he, um, well, he, um, he crouches. And he knows Oki Komus. Hmm. And the Moko referring to the direction across from where he was. Hi. Wakata. Tiki. So no Modori. Okay. Hi. Uh, Suguni Kao O. Iko. Meta. Okay, so he called meta. Well, he, he hiki is to pull. Komeru comes from komu, which is to go inside. So he komu is the pull in inwards. So the withdrawal. Withdraw. He take back. Hi. He pull back his face. Kao o. Kometai. Pull back his face, Suguni, very qu quickly, right away. He's hi, Suguni. Hi, hi. Um, uh, so he quickly pulled back his face. Oh, no, no, so when he take a peek, he quickly pulled back. Odoriba no saki no kaidan no shita wa below the staircase of the of the upcoming or the one that in the landing that is in front of him right yake ni uh, now yake ni does end with ni so it does modify is a things. verb it is yeah? not really like, yeah. it's ending with ni, it's a, ni. Ma... when things end with ni like oh, sugu it... ni what does it modify? What does suguni and yakeni modify? Modify verb. So they can modify verbs. They could also, though, modify adjectives, which is what it's doing here. Akarukute. What does akarui mean? 
that? Something to do with bright. So, so it's bright. And yake ni is telling you how bright it is. It is yake ni akaruite, which is awfully bright. So it's super bright. Akaruite. Bright. Uh, yake ni, super bright. Hi, hi. Okay, so. Zawa suita. Hmm. Zawa suita. Zawa suita. So, um, is... Zawagi. What is Zawagu it? is a ruckus. So, by saying Zawa, um, Zawa ruckus. suita, it's letting you know that there's noises coming on here. It's not a empty room. There's a commotion. There's people talking. Noises are going on. Um, so it's not an empty room. It is a brightly lit room with noises going on it. Um, a noisy, brightly lit room. Right. The word suita. The word suita. Dada. Hiroi. Hiroi is why. So it's so, heya dada biroi that is means wide. super wide. It's dada. Kind of obnoxiously wide. Biroi. Very wide. Excessive. Right. So very wide. Excessively wide. Heya data no da. It is it is a room that is excessively excessively big. Sprawlingly okay. big. Awesome. So I have some random questions for you based off of this line. Why does this end in ta form right here? Yake ni arukte zawa suita. So ta form right here. It's awfully wa bright and has and is noisy. Like why is this ta modifying? Um, it's commotion. Mm -hmm. This ta is modifying. Okay, so ta mean that there's a subordinating, this is a subordinated clause right. that will modify the upcoming noun. So, so. Therefore, the ne therefore, if I keep reading, oh no, but it come to the end of the sentence. So this heya so this, is the noun that we are talking about. Yes, heya is the noun we're talking about. Perfect. So yeah, the comma lets us know to kind of skip this adjective right here to make sure it's obvious we're talking about the noun on the bottom. Basically, it says this guy and the next thing you're going to see are both modifying the same baby. They're um, they're they're uh, parents with like a uh, I don't know, like a restraining order, but they both have child visitation rights. Um, is what that comma tells us. So if they were touching, it'd feel like maybe these two are modifying each other, which is theoretically possible. Um, the next thing is this saki. When you translated odoriba no saki, you translated as something else. Uh, but a, a space that it's in front of. Oh yeah, that's that's all right. Uh, you said that that is what it means. A space in front of odoriba. Okay, then you're then you're good. Um, I think you translated as the next odoriba, which was not what it uh meant. It just meant the tip the edge of the doriba. So right where the doriba that he's on ends, there's a kaidan. And then on that kaidan, if you go to the bottom of the kaidan, you reach the heya. But it seems like it did realize that. We're good. Hi. Um, oze ito ga ite kama. So here's first. Here's the first clause. Here it say, um, rowdy, right? It's oze. It's something very good loud. Guess. Yeah. So that would be a good assumption, but um, oze um hito means like a large crowd of people. A large crowd of people. Oze, large crowd of people. It's oze hito ga ite. They're there are a large crowd of people, comma, kore ijo wa, um, and furthermore, 
uh, susumet nai. That's it. Okay. So, ijo doesn't really mean furthermore, at least not what it means in English. Um, like it, it, like I think it means furthermore on its own, but kore ijo translating as this furthermore sounds wrong. Um, kore ijo means from here more more so uh for example the main character he's right here um if you look at my map i'll want to do purple this is where the main character is right now so he's talking about this location kore ijo so any more than this location that he's currently at he's susume nai but per furthermore he should not go really forward work. exactly he can't well is it should not we have menai susumu susumeru susume nai what do you think this means? So, susume is to go for. Susume nai. Susume. Susume nai. Okay, so it means that. Well, here it says ichiran, transitive verb. So, he to move forward, cannot move forward. Hi, cannot. Perfect. Yep, it is in. Potential form and negative form. Perfect. So since there's a big crowd of people, I cannot move further anymore from here. Koreido tsusumenai. Gaching, gaching. Toyu. Toyu here is... Um, Okay, so which toyu are we talking about here? Toyu well, could let's be. Let's pause. Let's pause. We have a comma right here, and a verb in short form. What does this comma and short form thing tell you? I think I talked about it, um, not that long ago. Right here. Here's where I last talked about comma with short right, form. So it means it's modifying, modifying some noun further down. Oh, so high, high, high. So you haven't hit the head of the phrase yet. So this guy and the next phrase right. are divorced, but have still child custody. Right. So it's saying up to this point, it's saying something is producing kaching kaching. Most likely. Most likely. So if we read further, it's say kinzoku uh, to. Kinzoku. So Kinzoku twice. Um, zoku. What is this? Metal. I would, what, so yes, metal and metal. metal. Let, let's read the whole sentence before you try translating this one. Hi. Kinzoku to. Kinzoku gapu kari. Gap. Ga. Butsukari au. Otoga chita. Right. So there is a sound. Um, the sound of metal on metal hitting each other. Right. Is described as chikan chikan. Kaching kaching. Um. Kaching kaching. There's metal hitting each other, and then. Um. Gear teeth, teeth and car. So kuruma, close. And gear is is he. He uh, is ha. teeth, right? Ha is teeth. Ha, ha guruma. Perfect. Ha guruma, ha guruma no ishimu otoya. Okay, so ishimu, ishimu. Is That's a gearing it's sound. It's graded yeah. on the right. <clears throat> and this otoya. Uh oto is a sound, but ya is like what? A phonetic representation of a That's an interesting guess. Is, I guess we haven't seen ya very much. That's a good guess. Um if this was like a verb, I think is what you're thinking. Um, there would probably be some kind of particle between oto and the verb, like o, 
or ga or something like that. But there's no particle here. We just have a noun with the particle ya being added to this. Ya as a particle is surprisingly not that common considering um, how early you learn it in most dictionary in most textbooks. Ya is a version of to that means etc. It is the and in a sectra kind of way. It's the noun version of tari. So this means sound and other things. Hi. Uh, so it's kind of like she, she, as in the, the reason for something. She is used to list reasons for things, which is very different than ya. But in English, you probably would translate them very similarly. But you could never replace ya with she grammatically because they have very different meanings in Japanese. Because she is used for examples of like reasoning, right? Oto sound is not a reasoning. If I said I went to the store and bought milk and apples and other stuff, you can't use she there. That doesn't really make any sense. Because like, why is the reasoning of being bought? It it just, it just it doesn't make sense. <laughs> that makes sense. It just the the I... logic doesn't like match. Um. But like, I do see, because when I said the word example, it, it does make sense in English. <laughs> She's examples of reasoning, so I, there's no reasoning you can't use she. I got that. There here is not reasoning. Here is, is itemization. Hi, hi, hi. It's a list of things. Yes. Hi. So here we have the grading of gears, the sound of grading of gears, and dot, 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 otoko ga no no shiru. Koemo, voices of men no no shiru. Right. No no shiru um, is a cursing, like, like very angry noises. Mm, Darn it. Abusive sound. So, so. Um, so here we have a combination of ya and mo. Right. So we have not only is there it doesn't say not only but it's sort of listed out there's it mm -hmm. say there's grading gear sound and then more meaning even more than that there's the voices of men yelling at each other kind of uh, yeah suru, meaning describing these are the things Hi. these are the sound that is happening Hi. i would kind of assume um, that here he's saying that there's a lot of sounds that are like the sounds of like creaking noises and stuff like that so similar sounds to creaking noises and like you said, on top of that, there's also a sound of a man cursing and yelling and stuff. So it's kind of like this is like almost like a different category right. of sounds. So this is probably including like the metal clinking into each other, maybe like hammers or things. Those kind of oto versus the koi. Yeah, our last right. line on this page. Hi. Hinzoku ga kogeru kogeru yo na. Sunto kuru ni oiga. And then this verb is something to do with the kite. Yeah, we saw this not that mm, long ago. Tada yo. Um, I didn't make you learn how to read the kanji, so it makes sense while you're struggling with it. Tada you know what tada yo meant? Tada yo. Tada yo. Is it something riff. that ni oh, is whiff, is that Hi, hi. Hi, that smell, that drift upon the air um that whiff across uh nodo nodo ga the throat uh is chiku chiku tsuru. the throat become itchy hi chiku chiku why do you think the throat got itchy right hi you're you're correct so, so, so the throat is itchy because here firstly we have Ni oi ga tado yo tado tada tada yo tada yo tada te kite tada te kite the um, the, it's the whiff of air drift towards yo hi tada yo te kite the air came towards kan hi. And the air is described as being zoku ga kogeru 
And here, kogeru referring to, not kogeru, I'm sorry. No, it is kogeru. Kogeru is a burnt. Hi, hi. So there is this burnt metal, yona, like the burning of metal. Right. Yona, na, is the particle uh, describing the following noun which is soon is it no no i'm sorry well Not theoretically the you're right it, it, theoretically it's soon the noun with to like a sound effect to and then kudu um but it's in the dictionary it's probably put together to mean pungent um but that's why we can use na here rather than ni so theoretically if this was just a verb you would have to do the ni here yoni but because tsuntokuru is like not a verb even though it is a verb it, it just has to do with how um Sun. they combine things together because tunto is the it's a prickly adverb sound so that's what they're adding the na to this tun it's a pungent it's a pungent Hi. so it itself is an ad is a it's some sort of a modifier some sort of a descriptor um, I kind of described so this na wrong. Na can describe other adjectives. Yeah, I, I was wrong actually. Uh, the na mm -hmm. is describing the nioi and just going around the chuntokuru in like a really weird grammatical way, because it's saying the smell is pungent mm. and the smell is like, uh, what does like pungent mean? Pungent, like it's Shintokuru. it's it's a bad, terrible smell. So, okay, so it's two things happening. One is that it is burnt. It smells like burnt metal, and and it's also pungent. Yeah, it's the two things. It's kind of confusing. It'd be nicer if I had a little comma right there, but that is what's going on, because this is actually adjective verb I, type of thing. Yeah, I agree. Because you can't just end the sentence so here. Describing... You can't just say, kinzoku ga kogeru yo na tsuntokuru. That's not grammatically correct. But when you have the nioi afterwards, it is grammatically okay, correct. Hi. So the na must be jumping over to the nioi, hi. which is very weird. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, yes. Perfect. That makes sense. Whew, you made and it. And all through. of that bad, terrible smell is hi. making his throat kuchi kuchi. Yeah. Kuchi kuchi. Perfect.